Thanks for joining Performance Product Technologies video series. Today's video will be addressing freeze protection on a Mercruiser 4.3 liter V6 MPI Alpha stern drive. We're not going to do full winterization on this particular boat because the customer just requested freeze protection. You can see here this engine is equipped with the single point drain system that Mercruiser offers, so that definitely helps with the draining of the engine as you prepare for freeze protection. See here this particular boat is equipped with an alpha stern drive. So we're going to start out by stabilizing the fuel system. This is extremely important these days with the ethanol blended fuels. We always recommend using a non-ethanol based fuel but sometimes you just don't have a choice but to use it. Once we get the fuel treated we're going to install the earmuffs and the water hose supply water to the, to the engine. We will go ahead and start the engine and we're going to end up letting it run until the thermostat comes up to operational temperature. Uh, you may want to check your owner's manual to see what that temperature is for a particular boat that you're working on. In this case we're dealing with an engine that uh, normal operating temperature is 160 degrees. So we're going to run it till it hits 160, thermostat opens, then we'll key the engine off. And depending on which model you have, it could be equipped with one of a, a couple of different drain systems. This particular one has Mercury single point drain, which you will see here has the, the blue handle, the knob that you basically turn counterclockwise to open a single point location for draining. You can see the red spigot at the bottle of, bottom of the drain housing uh, makes it easy to see where the water's coming out. So we'll go ahead and turn that counterclockwise to open the valve and then you do have to remove the vent plug which is located in the traditional location of the thermostat housing. If you do not remove that vent plug you cannot ensure that all of the water drains out. But they do put onus back on the owner. You have to visually watch and verify that water is draining out and you're going to allow it to drain until uh, everything completely drains out and you no longer see water coming out of the, the drain spigot. At this point you'll go back, you'll turn the drain handle clockwise until it tightens and then put your vent plug back in to close the system. The final step we're going to do here is we're going to run the engine on propylene glycol that is environmentally friendly antifreeze. The purpose of running the engine on propylene glycol even though we drained it is in the event that you didn't get all the water out or somehow water was retained in a certain cavity that you weren't aware of, the propylene glycol will dilute that and then prevent freeze damage from occurring. The other benefit is that the propylene glycol acts as a rust or a corrosion inhibitor inside of the engine while you have it in storage. And as you can see here in the video, we're using a winterization kit, which is just a, a tank with an le electric pump on it, and you use the standard earmuffs that you use to flush the engine, and thereby providing glycol to the pickup of the stern drive, it allows glycol to go through the motor. And since you had it run up to operate, uh, operating temperature, the thermostat should be open, so antifreeze fills all of the cavities inside the engine. Once again, we appreciate you following us at Performance Product Technologies, and we look forward to seeing you next time.